Our next contestant is Carlos Bartosagi Koch, and the title of his presentation is How Cool Is Your Neighborhood? If I ask you, how cool is your neighborhood, I don't mean how vibrant, culturally diverse, or beautifully designed the buildings and public spaces are. Instead, I want to know how pleasant it is when you walk down the street or when you're sitting in your balcony on a hot summer day. In times of global warming, this is, in fact, a very relevant question because higher urban temperatures and more frequent heat waves threaten the life of all those who live in concrete jungles. We need a radical change in the way we build and design our cities. Scientists have found that urban greenery can successfully reduce urban temperatures by providing shade, evapotranspiration, and controlling the wind circulation. However, there is still little guidance on the most optimum amounts, compositions, and spatial configurations of vegetation that are required to mitigate the urban heat more effectively. To respond to this need, I investigated the different mechanisms that vegetation utilizes to regulate microclimates by monitoring and assessing extensive urban areas in Sydney. To accomplish this task, I used aerial images that allow me to develop a new classification system to assess the different thermal performance of natural and artificial surfaces. I found that bare soils and dry plants cannot provide effective cooling benefits in the absence of proper irrigation, while sparse vegetation is severely undermined in the presence of surrounding buildings and pavements. I also discovered that during the day, water bodies and very dense clusters of trees can provide substantial cooling effects. However, at nighttime, they become an important sources of heat. With this information, I produced several statistical models to predict land surface temperature more accurately and tested different cooling scenarios by changing the composition of the land. I estimated that if we replace 20% of impermeable surfaces with the same proportion of trees, we can reduce the average surface temperature of a given place up to 2.2 Celsius degrees on a hot summer day. Based on these estimates, I propose several key design guidelines that practitioners, developers, local governments, and policymakers can implement for a more effective reduction of the urban heat island in our cities. My research might not solve global warming or climate change, but it can help you live in a heat-resilient, healthier, and cooler community. Thank you.